All right, guys, today, some new heat from Sennheiser. The Momentum 4s, we have them here. been using these for a few days now. I'm going to jump in, talk about what I think about these earbuds. Price $2.99. If you're new to the channel, guys, hit that like, drop a sub. But let's check out Sennheiser's brand new earbuds. Now, these do come in three different colorways. We get like a black and copper, a black and graphite, and then a white and a silver. This is the black and copper color, as you can see. The Sennheiser branding on the top, the normal felt, that fabric that we get around their case. Big fan of that, the LED light here, the port to charge on these earbuds, the Sennheiser branding on the top, and the earbuds, we'll take a look at those in a minute. But the packaging here, you can see the Momentum 4s from Sennheiser does give us a little bit about these, but I'm going to go over all of the specs that we get. AuraCast support, Bluetooth 5.4, LE audio supported. It does say Bluetooth 5.4 compliant, so low latency audio. This has lossless audio. We'll go all over the specs in a little bit. Now, USB-A to USB-C, we'll talk about battery life as well. Wireless charging, of course, is on here. There's a fast charge and all of the rest we'll get to in a minute but we do get some extra silicone tips on here so three different sizes all in all with the silicone tips but we also get and this is big for me these sleeves that give you that little lip they give you that little extra clip in in your ear and that's big because these are actually smaller than some of the other sennheiser earbuds from the past but anytime you get an earbud like this with a little big size to it not as big as other ones but that clip that extra sleeve on there makes a hell of a difference i've been using these at the gym all week and they don't move at all when i have that clip in so if you have a problem with earbuds moving throw that clip on and it will solve that problem immediately now the paperwork on here we're not going to talk about that now let's talk about all the specs on these earbuds we talked about the colorways already, the black graphite, the black copper, the white, and the silver. Price $2.99, Bluetooth 5.4, IP54, sweat and dust resistant. This does have the smart, the Sennheiser smart control app available on iPhones and Android devices. Adaptive ANC, transparency mode, aura cast support, Sennheiser signature sound, sound personalization. There is an ear fit test on here. Six mics, so three mics on each earbud. Lossless audio, LE audio support. The Codex, SBC, AAC, AptX, AptX Adaptive, and LC3. Seven millimeter dynamic drivers on here. And the battery life. You're going to get about seven and a half hours of battery. 30 extra, 30 total, I should say, with the case. Now, that's with A and C off but with ANC on it says right around seven hours of battery life and if you have to charge these up right around an eight minute charge is going to get you an hour of battery life and these do support wireless charging now back to the actual earbuds here we're going to throw these in let's get all this stuff out of the way these also have multi-point by the way i'll show you that in a minute because we are connected to the s24 ultra and the 15 pro max right now at the same time and i'll just show you that if we go in, we'll just throw these in my ear first and take a look at the actual earbuds here from Sennheiser. The Momentum 4s, I have eagerly been awaiting these earbuds. I did get to check them out at CES for a little bit and I was pleasantly surprised by them. Well, I shouldn't say surprised. I mean, they're Sennheiser and the Momentum 3s, Momentum 2s, all great earbuds and these just take it up to the next level. So if we go into the app, I'll show you the smart control app. We are connected here, but we are also connected on the iPhone. And what I like about this is that, let's open settings, go to Bluetooth and connected. You can see we are connected here on the iPhone and we're already in the app on the S24 Ultra. So multi-point works like it should, like it should. No, no issues there. Now, the actual app itself, let's go over the app really quick. Again, available on in the App Store for iPhones and the Play Store for Android devices. The battery percentage up here for your case and the earbuds. Connection management is just going to tell you what you are connected to. It does say can connect to zero devices at the same at the time because we are already connected to two devices. Now, you get a sound. You can personalize your sound and it will go through a test and you can do that if you want i already have done that and that is what i have been using and i also have the eq set up this is my eq right here 
And you also have some presets in here if you just want to use a preset. I was using the EQ, but this is the first time ever where the actual personalized sound sounds better. So what Sennheiser came up with sounded better to me than when I just did it myself with the EQ or with a preset. And we'll talk about that in a little bit when I talk about the sound quality. Now your adaptive noise cancellation, you do have anti-wind. Let's turn off transparency mode. Oh, music just started playing. So we have ANC on, anti-wind or off. And then transparency level here, you do have a slider to go from low to mid to high. And then you have this toggle here, automatically pauses your music when transparency mode is activated. Now your touch controls on here, you can go in, and I'm happy to say you can customize your touch controls. But out of the box, this is exactly how I like it. So the left earbud, I can control my transparency level. Now it doesn't say, it says noise cancellation down here, but it will, if you're just tapping once on the left earbud, it will go back and forth from transparency mode to A and C. Previous track, next track, volume up and down, voice assistant, play and pause, everything you need here, and then during phone calls. So we get everything. Now your fit test, do the fit test. I have done it already. It will just tell you if you have a good seal in each side, in each earbud. And then your sound zones, if you want to go in and do that, you could also do that. Your experience, it tells you a little bit about it. If you want to share it, I just say it's good. And then you could rate it if you want to actually rate it. And then your settings over here, this is your audio resolution, your firmware update, your low latency for gaming, if you want to do that, your high resolution, your lossless. Um, we're going to, we'll do that. We'll start that right now. Um, your codex right now, I am using aptX adaptive on here. Um, you could smart pause, of course, in ear detection, auto accept calls. Actually, we want to turn that off. Power off. We're going to leave it on 15 minutes if you're not using them. It tells you the black and copper colorway. You can factory reset. Now, there is a battery protection mode that prolongs the battery life. And tiles, select the features to show in my device. So you can move different tiles around, turn them off so you don't see them. If you don't use them, they don't need to be there. So you can turn that off and take advantage of more space. And of course, firmware update, you will have a firmware update out of the box. There should be a firmware update already there. And you can see we are set for high res audio on here. We could go here, but we got to restart the headphones, but that's okay. Um, and that's pretty much it for the app itself. Again, it's the same app on both iPhones and Android devices, and I'm here for it. But let's talk about the transparency mode and the ANC. I wanna go transparency first. So I'm using it right now. Sounds great. Different levels, pretty natural sounding, a little bit of white noise that does come in, but transparency on here is, it's clean, it works, it allows a lot of outside noise to come in, but it's just very natural. So I do like that. It is a very, very good transparency level or ambient, whatever you want to call it. It's fantastic. Now, the ANC on here for me, this is probably the best ANC that I've heard on a pair of earbuds. So I have a shop, a lot of loud equipment, a lot big rumbles, like loud, low rumble noises. I got a huge dryer, like a 26 foot dryer that just pumps out heat all day. I have giant air compressors that are pumping out a lot of noise all day. The first time, I'll never forget the first time I put these in at the shop and started using them and turned ANC on, it drowned out the world. Everything went quiet. It was actually a little weird how quiet it was. I didn't expect it to i expected it to get the low rumbles and all the, the the mid rumble sounds but it even got some of the higher pitch sounds the anc on here is top class one of the best you're going to find on any pair of earbuds hands down you got the anti-wind you have the just regular anc and it blocks out everything i'm using it right now as i'm shooting this video it does muffle my voice a little bit so i'm going to stop doing that but ANC on here is one of the best on a pair of earbuds you're gonna find anywhere. All right, guys, now latency on the Momentum 4s. So watching content, of course, watching content, doesn't matter what it is. If you're streaming, if you're on Amazon Prime, if you're on Netflix, YouTube, like we all are, 
no issues at all no latency between audio and video now playing games on here remember there is a low latency mode inside of the settings go in turn it on and game all night just do whatever you want it's gonna be fine didn't really notice anything any issues i haven't had any issues playing call of duty asphalt racing those are the games that i play if you guys want me to test other games that might be a little different let me know what those games are because i'm not a big gamer on my phone but the games that i play here and there they're just fine they work without any issues now real quick i wanted to show you guys the shake test on here because these things they're great with that little sleeve that i mentioned before the shake test Besides the headache that I give myself when I do that, which is why I don't do it in a lot of videos, but I believe the Momentum 4s deserve that type of attention. Now, let's do a mic test. All right, guys, the mic test for the Momentum 4s. So I've been on a bunch of phone calls with these earbuds, and some results have been great. Some results have been good. Kind of, I, everybody that I talk to, I ask them about what they thought. How does it sound? Is it muffled? A lot of it was good feedback some of it was just okay feedback for the most part on a scale of one to ten i had them all give me an average and the consensus was kind of an eight on a scale of one to ten let me know what you think about that and how it sounds in this environment right now in the studio but now we're going to play some noise and you can tell me how they sound with some background noise all right guys we got some background noise some air conditioners going let me know what you think of the sound quality on the momentum fours when it comes to the microphones again six mics total three on each earbud now this is a very loud sound right next to me so you should hear some of it let me know what you right. think now last but not least let's talk about the volume and the sound quality we go with volume first so the first few days i was using these earbuds i had the eq set to my personalized eq i set it the way i wanted i could have brought it up a little bit gave me a little bit more I, I, more volume that's what i wanted i always wanted a little more volume it was always loud enough but you guys know i like to to go extra i'm a little extra with volume and then i find that sweet spot and dial it back with these when i had it on either a preset or my personalized eq that i did myself i always found myself wanting a little more not with every song it depends on the song you're listening to but every now and then i wanted a little more and then i went over and I switched it to the personalized sound profile that the app will generate for you after you do a bunch of tests. And that's when I got what I wanted. It gave me that just fuller sound, more volume, a little brighter. Mids came up a little bit. Everything just was brought up, including the volume. And that's probably one of the reasons why I liked this sound better than what I gave myself with the EQ. Now, the sound quality on here is fantastic. That high-res audio, the clarity on here, the detail, the separations from instruments, these EQ very, very well. You're gonna be able to pull up the mids if you want. Get them to be as bright as you want, basically. The bass on here, these aren't the crazy, crazy bangers, but the bass on here is good, it is strong, it is punchy, and even better than all of that, it is clean. These earbuds sound really good. These are my new favorite earbuds. These are definitely my new favorite earbuds. These are in the mix now when it comes to overall earbuds, right? We're getting, you might find a pair of earbuds out there that sound better, and I'm not gonna name any right now, but there's a couple of high-end earbuds that you guys know I love maybe one of them might sound a little better but the overall package of these earbuds the incredible sound quality the incredible active noise cancellation the really really good transparency mode the battery life on here is vastly improved seven hours with anc on and only seven and a half so we're getting to that point where even turning anc on isn't really making much of a difference in battery life and that's the first time i've seen this on a pair of earbuds wireless charging multi-point these look all the bells and whistles on here let me know what you think of the microphones again i talked about all the all the calls i was on and what people were saying the feedback i got when talking on the phone with these earbuds in. But overall, the Momentum 4s, another banger from Sennheiser. They just keep giving it to us. The Momentum 4 headphones are my favorite headphones, and the Momentum 4 earbuds are now in my top two when it comes to headphones, when it comes to earbuds. That's it, guys. I'll be back soon. Peace.